everyone, and welcome back to Public Speaking Online. Today, we are going to talk about speaking on special occasions. I'm going to give you a few different examples of when this might occur, and we'll go over some different types. Have you ever had to speak at a special event? Maybe you wanted to, or maybe you didn't. Do you anticipate needing to speak at a special occasion in your future? I have a feeling many of us will. So what is special occasion speaking and what makes it different or unique from other public speaking contexts? While special occasion speaking has been referred to as epideictic oratory, which by the way, let's be real, I had to look that up and practice pronouncing it several times to get that correct. But anyway, special occasion speaking is designed primarily for a rhetorical effect. In other words, to display something like a speaker's skill set, and therefore the speech itself has a particular time and place requirement. Special occasion speeches also serve a unique social function, whether that's to pay tribute to someone, to blame, condemn, commend, celebrate, or even give thanks. That's a lot. Any others you might want to add? So here's a few examples of special occasion speaking outside of what might first come to mind. For example, a high school graduation speech or a wedding toast. So a president's address to the nation after a national crisis. Someone being called up at a funeral or memorial service to say a few words. Or being invited um, to come up after being recognized or given an award. So now let's go back to those social functions that I just talked about a second ago. Special occasion speaking is concerned with promoting goodwill and positivity, well, generally speaking. And that is accomplished by creating a shared sense of community among all the audience members present. So the goal is to create a certain sense or an emotional response toward a particular person or subject. And in doing so, the speaker creates familiarity between the individuals who were present for the speech. So now let's go over a few different types of special occasion speeches that are mentioned in your text. The first is a speech of introduction or even a closing speech. And you can think of this as the MC at an award show or maybe the opening act at a comedy club, for example. When opening for someone, the initial speaker, the introduction speaker, often starts by sharing some background on the main event speaker, sort of talking them up as they work to build suspense and anticipation from a crowd. They might even dabble a bit in the content themselves as a means of warming up the audience to the topic. Typically then, that same individual would come back after the main event speaker and close the speaking event using very similar strategies that we've talked about so far in this class. Summarizing main points, ending with a memorable or even a humorous note. Of course, there are roasts and toasts. And we're familiar with this style of speaking, thank you to Comedy Central. In both cases, the speech functions as a tribute to someone, whether it's in goodwill or sometimes even some poor humor. It's important, again, depending on the crowd and context, that the roasters, when doing a roast, and toasters avoid any cringe-worthy content something that might exploit the person whom they are paying tribute. Comedy Central, again, made this style of speaking really popular by roasting celebrities. I don't think I feel comfortable showing any examples of that for this class. Third, there's a speech of presentation. And this is the type of speech that's often given at an award ceremony or at a public gathering. When giving someone an award, the presenter uses similar strategies to those mentioned so far, creating curiosity and suspense in an audience for who the winner might be, building up the recipient by detailing her accolades or highlighting her merits, 
fostering a general sense of appreciation by discussing the impact of their work or success. You've probably seen this type of speech many times in your past. And there are a few others as well that are noteworthy. For example, a keynote address, which is usually given at a conference and represents a general theme or a purpose. We're surely all familiar with commencement speeches, though some of us may have had to miss our own graduations just this past semester. You can think about high school or college graduation, a ceremony event, or even a milestone. Tribute speeches are very common in this class and usually the one that students choose for their last speech. These types of speeches are given at a banquet, perhaps in dedication, at a monument, maybe as a new scholarship has been won in somebody's name. These are really thank you speeches, but designed to give to someone else. And then of course there's the ADS speech, which stands for after dinner speech. And this style of speaking was made famous by Mark Twain many decades ago. It was originally designed for the purpose of entertainment after a full after dinner crowd, sort of as a way of closing out the night. We've carried on this tradition by often doing speeches during mealtimes. Now, I just want to leave with a quick note on humor. Since many of these speech times, speech types naturally lend themselves to humorous content and storytelling. This is a snapshot from chapter 17 of the Public Speaking Project free online text. If you decide to use humor in your speech, definitely take a look at this resource because it gives really good tips for how to engage with and use humor, but carefully. Because we have to remember, humor does not work well on all occasions or with all audiences, right? Delivery of humor is of the utmost importance, as is conducting thorough audience analysis so you know who's in the crowd. Now, at the end of this module, you'll see more resources and tips per usual. There's a wonderful tribute to Robin Williams, after his passing a few years ago, as well as many others. Please feel free to take a look at these and get some ideas for how you want to organize your final speech content. Thanks so much, and I hope this helped.